Hi everybody, Nick Trowich here and it is um, Thursday the 14th of April, uh, one day before Good Friday and uh, the subject of today's um, talk is um, Jesus as a role model for us in leadership. Nick Trowich here, passionate about leadership and um, yeah, convinced that anybody can become a good leader if they get the right uh, training, mentorship and coaching. And uh, if anybody has any um, uh, anything you'd like to discuss on anything that I talk about here or any other subject uh, within that sort of scope of leadership, then please feel free to contact me using the link below. Love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, it's good to have role models, <clears throat> people who you look up to as leaders who um, Yeah, I sort of like as a shiny beacon of how how good leadership what good leadership is all about, and I hope um, you meet up with people or pe uh, cross paths with people like that in your leadership career. But of course, the um, well, certainly for me as a practicing Christian, um, the role model num number one role model was uh, was Jesus Christ Himself, um, the way He led, and I was just thinking about some of the some of the things He He did and how He led. And uh, of course, one of the things he did, he, he, he broke he broke rules. There were sort of people he would talk to um, anybody. Um, I think it was Zacchaeus who he, who invited. He said, yeah, I'm coming to come and to eat with you. And uh, the, the Pharisees were really unhappy about that because this guy was a, a tax collector. Um, so uh, in your teams, respect people's character, not um, not their position. You shouldn't be, uh, your leadership role doesn't depend on your position or shouldn't do it. It should depend on, um, on, uh, you know, what, why you, why you want to help, help others and lead others. Um, leadership these days is no longer about position and, um, privileges. <clears throat> and Jesus said he didn't look at it, leadership that way either. So, um, yeah, it was just one of those, those thoughts that, uh, the way he, um, the way he rubbed up people's noses, I mean, uh, was uh, with the Pharisees again. <clears throat> the way that he cleared the temple because they were using it as a as a um, a den of iniquity or whatever he called it because it, they were money changers and I don't know what all you know, in 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 the, in the place of worship. <clears throat> so uh, don't be don't be frightened of uh, rocking the boat occasionally if you're convinced you're right. Um, obviously within bounds, but. Um, uh, serve your serve your people. Uh, that's what Jesus did. He um, got them motivated to gave them gave them the uh, training they needed. Told them what they could do, should do. Gave them a, uh, a quite uh, clear instructions as to what they should go out and do. And uh, yeah, supported them all the way. So, but quite clear. He said, "Yeah, follow me." That was it. Um, always taught, spoke the truth, and was just a, the perfect example of leadership. And of course, in the end of the day, this is what we uh, celebrate at Easter on Good Friday. He gave his he gave his life for his followers. So uh, there's no better or bigger, uh, there's, there's no greater love than one can one man give to another, or one person give to another, than giving his life to his friends. So. That's it for today and I uh, hope everybody has a great, great Easter and I'll see everybody again on Tuesday.